Let's face it, trying to eat right can seem overwhelming. The shelves at the grocery store are lined with so many different products claiming to be good for you. I'm sure that you've heard the saying, you are what you eat. That's not to say that if you eat a pickle, you are a pickle. It means that the foods that you eat have a huge impact on your health, especially your heart. Hi, I'm Beth Hills. I'm a clinical dietitian at St. Elizabeth Healthcare. Food is fuel for the body. Making good choices is key to ensuring it functions properly. I'm here to give you some advice on the nutrients you need, what to look for, and what you can do to develop healthier, long-term eating habits. Eating healthy can help you reduce your risk of developing heart disease, gaining weight, and developing hypertension or diabetes. What you eat impacts your blood sugar, blood pressure, and cholesterol. Start with small, simple changes to your current routine. Avoid an all or nothing approach. Forming new habits of any type takes time and practice. Be patient with yourself. Some days will be easier than others. Eat a diet rich in whole foods, foods that have been minimally processed, such as fruit and vegetables, whole grains, beans and legumes, nuts and seeds, fresh, lean animal proteins. Cut back on added sugars, saturated fats, sodium, and ultra-processed and prepackaged foods. Limit or no alcohol. Yes, and here's a few tips. Plan your recipes, shop with a list, buy store brands versus name brands, buy fresh fruits and vegetables in season, stock up on frozen and canned fruits and vegetables, read the labels to avoid added sugar and sodium, eat more meatless meals, use inexpensive plant proteins as alternative protein sources, lentils, beans, soy, grains, and nuts. No, but in general, red meats such as beef, pork, and lamb have more saturated fats than chicken, fish, and plant proteins. So, when you eat those foods, select the leanest cut and keep your portions small. Yes, studies show that people who eat the daily recommended amount of fruits and vegetables had lower risk than those who only ate two servings per day. Eating a healthy breakfast is a good way to regulate hunger and blood sugars. It can reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. The FDA requires a nutrition facts label on all packaged foods and beverages. It serves as a guide to help people make better choices on what to eat. It tells you the size of the single serving and how many servings are in the container. The percent daily value tells you the percentage of a given nutrient in a single serving that contributes to the total daily recommended amount. The nutrition facts label provides some information you need to make healthier choices. Unhealthy fats like saturated and trans fats cholesterol, sodium, carbohydrate, dietary fiber and added sugar, and also protein. Protein needs are anywhere from 10 to 35% of calories. Protein needs in healthy people are based on weight and age. General recommendations are to consume 15 to 30 grams per meal. Higher amounts per meal have not been shown to be beneficial. No, fat is a source of energy and is vital to health as it is found in every cell. Fat can help you absorb fat-soluble vitamins, provide flavor and satiety to meals. Fats such as monounsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats are healthy. Polyunsaturated fats include omega-3 fatty acids and it reduces the risk of coronary artery disease and is considered an anti-inflammatory. Saturated fats and trans fats can raise your cholesterol levels and increase your risk of heart disease. It makes us feel full without adding calories, provides bulk, and reduces appetite. It reduces the body's ability to absorb fat, it lowers cholesterol and blood sugar levels, and increases the healthy gut bacteria and improves digestion. My Plate is a visual nutrition guide published by the USDA to remind Americans to eat healthful. It shows a plate split into quarters to represent four of the food groups as well as a side circle for dairy. 
It's a clear way to encourage people to consume the highly recommended half plate of fruits and vegetables. Yes, tracking food intake is a tool that can help reduce mindless eating. It provides accountability and can help spot emotional eating triggers. Reduce unhealthy saturated fats, keep sodium less than 2,000 milligrams per day, control your blood sugars and blood pressure. Thanks for taking the time to learn how you can eat better. Always remember, some foods are more valuable to the heart and body than others. Hopefully now you have some tools to help you make wiser choices the next time you're at the grocery store. Look for additional heart healthy eating segments from the St. Elizabeth Take Time for Your Heart program to discover more tips for how you can lower your risk for heart disease.